welcome back. I've got 26 rolls of nickels. Time to go through some nickels and see what we find. Um, got a mix of some older and newer stuff here. So we'll have to go through these and see what I find. All right, I will bring you back when I find something. Hopefully we'll find something older. It'd be nice to find some buffaloes. It's been a while since I found a buffalo nickel. Well, that's good looking. All right, I'm back on the second roll here with the first older nickel. It's got a demint mark on the reverse. Oh, if we can try to zoom in on that. Yeah, that, if the mint mark is on a reverse like this, it means it's, I believe, 1964 or older. So let's flip this over and see what we got. It's a 1960. That's my first um, 60s and my first uh, nickel find. Uh, older nickel fine. So keep looking, see what I see. All right, I'm back on the third roll here and got this old grimy looking nickel. Oh, I flipped it over. It's 1947. That's our first pre 60s fine, so that does count as a good find. Um, I don't see a mint mark on the reverse. But it is pretty dirty. I'll have to take a good close look at it. But it looks like it's uh, 47 out of Philadelphia. Let's keep looking. All right, welcome back. I'm on roll number eight. And I noticed I have a 1958 peeking out. And that is from Denver. That's in pretty good shape too for 1958. And that is another pre-60s find. That is awesome. I'm going to keep looking and see what else I find. Okay, back with roll number nine here. And I've got a mint mark on the reverse here facing me. That means it's an older nickel. And it is a 1955. 1955 out of Denver. That is a nice find. Okay, I'm back in on roll number 10. And we're going through these nickels. I've got a 1940s looking at me. This one is a 1940 out of Philadelphia. I do not see a mint mark. That is now our oldest nickel, oldest find so far. Keep going, see what else we find. All right, I just tumped out roll number 11. I've got not one, Put two pennies in there. <laughs> so, just uh, eight cents down in this roll. Okay, I'm back with the uh, same roll, roll 11. And I've found this gorgeous 1988 out of Denver. Looks like it's barely touched. It's got uh, it looks like it has full steps too. That is definitely a nice find. Nice find indeed. Okay, I'm back two coins later. I pull out another 1955. Let's see, it's out of Denver. That's our second 1955 out of Denver. This roll's turning into an interesting roll. Okay, I just opened roll number 12. Same uh, wrapping, same bank that I got these from. And looks like I got not one, not two, but three dimes in here. So that puts me up 15 cents on this roll. Kind of made up for those pennies in the last roll. Yep. All right. So, three dimes. Keep looking to see what's in this roll. Okay, I'm back on roll number 13. And I've got a 1947 here. All right. Let's see. That is a 1947 out of Philadelphia. 
It's another good find. Let's keep searching. Okay, I am working my way through roll number 15. We've got this 1958 here. This one is out of Denver. Looks like it's got a little damage on it there. That's it is a little bent. Yeah, uh, that's 1958 out of Denver. So it's like an 58 find. All right. What else are we going to find here? Still on roll number 15. And this one has a reverse mint mark as well out of Denver. And it is in really nice shape on the back. I can see the steps has some de definition on it. Let's flip it over and see what it is. It's 1958. That is a very nice 1958. I have to get in and see if I can see if all those steps are there. Looks like not quite, but it still looks good. Very, very good. So let's see what else we find. Okay, back on rule number 19. I've got this 1948. This one is out of Philadelphia. That is the fourth one from the 40s I have found. So far, so good. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm back on roll number 20. Just open up the roll. And on the end here, it was a 1940. That's ties our oldest. We've got two from 1940. Let's keep looking and see if we can find something older. All right, I'm on roll 22, four rolls remaining. Um, I picked this one up and flipped it over. Just opened up the roll, and this is a 1946. 1946 out of Philadelphia. It's another 40s nickel. All right. Okay, I'm working my way through my last customer route roll. I've got an old one here. Look, looks kind of old from the reverse here. It's from Denver. Let's see. It's a 1956. That's another good find. Um, I think it fits in there. All right, two rolls left after these. Let's see if we come up with anything else. Okay, on the last roll, down to the home stretch, I've got seven nickels left. We're going through and I found a 1957. 1957, this one is out of Denver. So that's another good find. Let me just pick at this one, 1967. That looks like all the old nickels I'm gonna find. I'm gonna take a look at these real quick and then uh, go back through the 60s and, and all the rest of these and see the check for varieties there and stuff like that. All right. Okay, to wrap up, I um, didn't find any uh, anything special among those nickels I was looking through. Um, but I'd ended up with six from 1950s, a really, really nice one from 1958. A very, very nice one. Um, and then six from the 40s, two from 1940 being our oldest. Um, they get a nice 1988 and a nice 1969 S. And I'm going to check and see what I have there. All right. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and tell me how I'm doing down in the comments. Have a good day.